Hey Aries, what's up? Welcome back to the Illuminator. We are going to be checking up on your twin flame journey and see what is going on. I had already started with the masculine energy, but then I realized that the camera was off. Um, but yeah, we're going to be drawing the cards for you and then I'm going to be interpreting your person and see what is going on here. I can tell here that, hold on, let me just show you the cards. We have the Two of Swords, the Seven of Wands reversed, the Hierophant reversed, the Shrinked card, the Fool reversed, the Three of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Chariot reversed. Now, a couple of things that now that I'm also receiving is that this is someone that has a lot of expectations. Like later on in this journey, they will have a lot of expectations from you. However, right now, or maybe even coming in with the past energies, they have been very neglectful of this connection. I don't see someone that has been really fighting to get this relationship off the ground. They may have felt like things have, um, like you both have like a different background or culture. There could be a different age. Uh, you might be living at a distance. So there's a lot that is going on here that this person does not want to pay attention to. Two of Swords is someone that is definitely not wanting to see reality or is trying to ignore a situation or perhaps even you in general because they are not ready for that huge awakening and understanding of what this connection really means because it can be very triggering. So I don't see someone that has been fully putting everything on everything to uh, realize this con uh, connection or get into a commitment here right now the strength card the full reverse and the three of swords it's like they feel that they are right what in whatever their decision is uh, it looks like slowly but surely they're coming to some type of decision making process here with the strength card and they feel like okay this is my boundary, this is what I believe in, this is my strength and I'm going to keep it that way. And that could be a mentality, that could be a mindset, right? But deep down in their heart, they are a little bit afraid of taking that leap of faith. And I feel like their lack of trying to take any risks when it comes to this relationship is eventually going to hurt them because whether they want it or not, they are starting to... Um, have some type of expectation here. They have a lot of expectations for you to keep on giving to them. And my question here is, if they're so ignoring the situation and they are not really uh, fighting for this relationship or commitment due to background or cultural beliefs, then why do they expect you to constantly give? Because they are in this expectation. And it looks like your person is could be in a very needy energy. So it doesn't mean that with the strength card, they're not showing that they are needy, but somewhere deep down in their heart, they want some type of validation. They want people to kind of like fight for them or for you to prove that you are, you know, the one for them. And that's why they have the six of pentacles. It's like they want you to keep on giving to the situation. They're expecting you to give. It's like an obligation or as if they owe you or you owe them to keep on giving to the situation. And with the chariot reverse, this is like a distorted energy, obviously, because you can't push the vehicle forward if one person is giving more than the other. And with the three of swords as well, it's like they're a little bit yeah just in need of healing here in need of a lot of healing let's see maybe there is some type of trauma coming from a past relationship or coming from different cultural beliefs and they've seen that things don't work so they kind of like assume that this relationship won't work either so that's where they're at but deep down inside i do feel like they actually want to have this relationship because there is a four of wands here uh, they they really enjoy spending time with you or coming together with you
What is going on for Aries, please? Three of Wands reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed. The Page of Wands reversed. The Ace of Swords. The Ace of Wands in the heart of your reading. The Ace of Pentacles <laughs> reversed back to back. Three Aces. The Hierophant reversed. The Seven of Cups reversed and the Justice reversed. Bottom of the deck is the Lover's Card reversed. Wow. So what I'm sensing here from you, Aries, it's like... You feel like you've already tried everything and you're you're on the edge, you have been on the edge of letting go. You feel like everything is getting uh, escalated. I'm hearing really like an escalation and you're trying to avoid that escalation. And you may have figured out that you could have been a little bit codependent to this person or that this person was acting a little bit codependent on you. Uh, you may have experienced like a lack of excitement and a lack of uh, forward communication between the both of you and I feel like you have been on this edge of I'm letting go I'm giving up I'm not really going to be um, attaching myself you're trying everything you can to detach yourself however I do feel like you still have a lot of passion for this individual I think that you really do care I mean obviously if it's your twin flame you're still going to care regardless of uh, what the outcomes are there's still going to be some type of a deep attachment here and i feel like around this time or within this month definitely with this ace of swords a breakthrough a, a clarity something that is going to come to you that is going to give you a lot of truth in how to handle this person or how, what the real problem is on why they behave in this certain way and i feel like Spirit is definitely going to be talking to you intuitively. You're going to get a lot of downloads around this time. Um, you're also getting very clear within yourself or even towards this person about the things that you truly feel um, that are wrong here. And you're going to be vocalizing this. You're definitely going to be expressing all of this. And with this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, it's like you are not ready to invest yourself. That's going to be one of the conclusions. Like, yes, I can see you or there is some physical energy here. Uh, there is a lot of passion. But when it comes to really committing yourself, you feel like this person still needs to prove a lot of things to you and that you're not going to be that easy to commit yourself to this individual. I feel like here we have twice now the Hierophant coming through. And then we have the Seven of Cups and the Justice. And they're all kind of like in the reverse. And I'm really getting this vibe that you are trying to break free from this um, connection for the time being. You may feel like things are really out of balance. Um, or you're getting kind of like the downloads or the clues to focus on other things, focus on other inspirations or creative outbursts in your life and to less focus on, um, on your twin flame because there is definitely a, a lack of commitment that I'm seeing from both ends and it looks like the more that you give or you uh, commit yourself, the less that you receive because there is a lack of partnership here with this Libra energy, justice in the reverse. So um, it's like... Yeah. Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck as well with the Lovers Reverse and then the King of Swords Reverse. So I feel like you're really going to be mirroring this person. And if they're not going to put in the action or, or energy, I feel like you're just going to be acting different towards them. You're not going to be allowed that. Like you're not going to be feeding this person more. And there is definitely some type of a karmic situation or play out that still first needs to happen before things can smooth out between the both of you. I mean, I'm, I'm not really getting the vibe of there is like this huge conflict. I mean, obviously there could have been some 
pettiness or small little things in the past. But it looks like the big clue is kind of like missing here in regards to why they're not wanting to give this a shot or a chance because that's the that's the issue like this person does not feel ready to give this another shot or to you know trust you with their heart because they've they've been hurt before this person has been hurt before and they're just not trusting it and i feel like you're almost coming to some type of acceptance with that like well, if you don't trust me, then, you know, we might as well just separate our ways um, because, you know, one of the most important things within a commitment is trust and loyalty. And if that's not there, you're realizing like, okay, then I'm doing myself short. I'm doing myself an injustice here. <clears throat> so, okay. High Priestess, that fell on your side and then we have the string card i mean like yeah this this does feel like a little bit of a stalemate uh, again the string coming out twice could be dealing with a leo or someone that has strong leo placements but it's like they still need to recover the strength card is also a very um, significant <laughs> significant card when it comes to healing oneself and to overcoming some type of challenge or struggle and to get stronger out of a situation so they're very very much focused on that uh, at the same time obviously it represents some type of ego or uh, the way someone is standing character build and individuality uh, it's all about like trying to yeah just trying to be I mean, I don't want to say in their ego, but kind of in their ego, kind of. But it, it, again, I'm not getting it in the wrong way. I'm just getting more like they have their reasons, whatever that is. Like it doesn't have to be connected to you, the, the reason, but they have their reasons to kind of like keep themselves a little bit, I don't know, with a composure, solid and like proving something like they they feel like they need to prove themselves something that they are not going to be saying yes just to anybody so they have a lot of doubts could be very skeptical uh, in regards to this connection and you have the high priestess here so the high priestess is most definitely talking about you listening to your intuition receiving the truth and enlightenment from spirit uh, sh you know closing yourself off and really trusting in the book of the Akashic Records, which means that everything is already written and you know that internally. So it's the High Priestess is such a spiritual being, it does not really co correlate or connect things to time because she understands that everything has a connection. There's a spiritual meaning, there's a puzzle to every piece and it comes from past lifetimes. She has like the whole book written and that's why she trusts herself, but she doesn't trust the other person right like it's like it's like looking at someone and, and you're looking like okay i know that you're just you know running around ignoring this or acting like as if it doesn't exist but you know i know that deep inside you know you know that i know so that's the type of energy that you're giving out so very strong 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 statements God of Reflections, which is most definitely the mirror. The qualities you see in others are simply your own reflection. So you also have this sense of pride. Like this is what it is. It's the pride over the ego. And it's not like the... Yeah, it's, it's really the pride that you're both really mirroring towards one another. With the strength and the high priestess, it's like two powerful individuals. They would have to prove themselves and prove the other person um, their boundaries and you know and i feel like that's why you both are also attracted to one another because you you both see those qualities within yourself as in like well uh, i may have acted like that as well um so yeah i feel like you're going to do a lot of reflections here as well and you're going to realize that you look more the same than you ever realized and this is going to be that awakening and that honest breakthrough that's coming in within your mental space as well as spiritually. Uh, intuitively, you're going to know a lot of truths that are going to be taking place in the future. So 
yeah, that's what I have for you for this for this time around. There's no extended for this one. Uh, there's still the March reading, and next week I will be doing another one with an extended for you guys. So thank you so much and ciao.